A staggering new report by the Wisconsin Hospital Association finds critical vacancy rates amongst the industry's workforce. It says the nursing workforce isn't growing fast enough. Our Kyle Pazorski read through the report and shares the grim outlook the WHA says will continue for another decade. What's perhaps the most important point the Hospital Association makes is the current challenges are and will continue to be compounded as more and more baby boomers retire. Every industry is going to face a shrinking workforce for about the next decade. Ann Zank of the Wisconsin Hospital Association tells News 3 Now the workforce challenges seen in recent years is due to what's called the silver tsunami. That's what people refer to as the phenomenon of the baby boomer generation rapidly retiring. We're experiencing surges of retirements, not just in healthcare, but across all industries. While it may not be a healthcare specific problem, this wave of retirements is impacting hospitals in its own way. By 2030, the youngest boomers will be over 65, an age where more medical care is required. This means only one thing, demand is going up and the available workforce is going down. Sink says while this wave of retirement is bad, it's not the only thing to blame. A number of strains are facing Wisconsin's healthcare industry. It's a combination of staffing shortages financial pressures, demographic changes. So we need to address what we're able to um, urgently. The association's latest report follows another one from them this last fall, which shows significant financial struggles amongst Wisconsin's hospital. A few of the ways the association is suggesting to improve the current situation includes better healthcare education pathways and removing certain legal and regulatory obstacles.